The Happy Minecrafter, a guide to sustainable living in your own backyard in Minecraft. Hosted by JDMac020. Created and developed by Jonathan MacGregor. And now, let's go to the show. Oh, hello there, Happy Watcher. Now, I know last time I said we would be how do you say doing shrooms but that's simply not gonna happen today we did a little bit of research here on the estate and determined that you can't just throw giant mushrooms all over the place and build shelters out of them it doesn't work like that maybe at one point in minecraft's history these things happened this way but not any longer. So instead we'll bring you how to create your own fishing pond. Now, I'm not sure just uh, if you realize where on the estate we are. We're a little bit off into the woods. We're just, we're just over there. There's our chickens in the storage house and uh, we've come over this ridge and um, we had to come over here and we did a little bit of work uh, to prep this area off camera. We set up some supplies and a crafting bench and there were some trees here because uh, we're not going to be able to flood out a valley like this with 12 block high trees. That's just not not something that we're going to do here. This isn't Quabbin. We're not going to do that here because that's not very in tune with Minecraft now, is it? What we are going to do is dig out this area um, all the way about, about where the valley ends. Uh, we're not going to go very, very against the grain of the geology here in this little valley. I mean, that's just not what we're trying to do. And as you see, we're digging along here, and the water is flowing to some degree. We chose this valley in large part because of that waterfall that was forming here uh, that'll aid us immensely when it comes time to uh, to flood out this valley and create our, our pond. I am using an enchanted diamond sword. Um, it's enchanted pretty well with unbreaking too, which is handy because even with these uh, diamond swords, you can see I'm taking some fairly significant wear and tear on the tool already. I don't think I need to tell most of you happy watchers that um, digging just destroys your tools without question, whether they're stone or iron or, or diamond. Digging is just atrocious. Whee! You do need to be aware when you're working with um, flowing water that uh, you're gonna have to be working against the grain that makes everything difficult holding down that W key and um, constantly sliding around depending on which currents and eddies you hit that is going to be difficult um, we are hitting oh, underwater you need to be aware of that it is possible to suffocate yourself if you're not paying attention so I recommend you pay attention happy watcher and uh, union rules do dictate that um, we have to uh, cease work at nightfall. So let us reconvene here in the morning. So like I said, we're going to go down, uh, down to three from about here. so we need to hurry up and get some breath of air. Mind your air bubbles, happy watchers. Now, as you can see, simply digging out the, the, the place we want all of this to be was not enough to flood it. The water kind of didn't even reach all the way out here. Um, that's just It's just not going to work. 
So one of the things we're going to have to do very quickly is whoop, manage to jump appropriately. Uh, make sure we get a constant source of water. So as you can see, there's no real ability that we, we don't have the ability to just capture this water. I'm trying to scoop it in the bucket, but because it is running water, we're not really able to capture that or dump on it. It's just kind of obnoxious, really. And uh, we could absolutely come over here to where the head of the waterfall is, and um, we, we can capture it here, but that eliminates the entire effect that we're going for. So we're not going to do that. In case you haven't figured it out, folks, we're going to have to bring some water here. So as you can see, what we're looking for is to have very flat, smooth water. Think of the adage that still water runs deep. Because what you can see is uh, you can come over here and I can pull from this cube of water and it fills back in, which means I can pull another cube of water and it pulls back in. And that is because it has at least one full cube of water on either side. So that is what we need to recreate over here. So what we're going to do here is start at this very end. We're going to fill here. And then we're going to take another square. We're going to go over another bucket, I'm sorry, and fill the cube next to it. And then I'm going to take one more bucket and we're going to fill this cube. Oh, but you see how that did not go down. That's important. So we're going to run and refill the buckets because that's what we've got to do. And there may be some of you out there in, uh, in watching land that are questioning whether this is really an in tune with Minecraft kind of project if we're having to make buckets and dump water and well it's just crazy talk you're, you're just gonna have to take my word for it now see we're, we've got this square here we've been trying to dump into let's do it one more time it didn't work let me show you a trick perhaps yes now we have full water this one's very still let's try scooping this one still not enough so let's put it back oh but now we're getting closer now it is eternal spring and we are able to use it to replenish a single bucket all the way around Ta-da! Oh. Union rules. And now we are back and we are going to finish our handy dandy flooding project. slow, painstaking work, but it is really the best way to create your own fishing spot when uh, you want to create your own little piece of the ocean out here. And uh, who doesn't? You know, that's completely understandable. So really your best bet to ensure that you don't have problems is to just continue to fill all the way around. Oh, see, this created a new, closer pool for us to, to pull water from.
dangerous. And uh, we're going to have union reps out here any second now. But uh, I think it's important that we get this to a point where we're able to... Uh, did that work? That did not work. To safely uh, call it a night here on this project. So there we go. I think we're all the way around. We'll have to fill this in. And uh, we're going to get out of here before... Uh, any problems arise. All right, happy watcher, here we are back again. And uh, we've done some good work. We've filled all this in around the uh, the edges here. But we're having some definite difficulties um, filling out some of the levels here, especially in our deeper portions. Um, we can even see it here around the edges. It's just not quite as easy to fill in as we were hoping and um, there's sometimes not a lot we can do about that. Sometimes it is going to be as easy as um, it appears to be now where we can just scoop in, find out where the water is running to and dump but um, not always. It is not always so simple for instance, as you can see here, we're just kind of dumping into thin air, and uh, so to speak, and it's not happening. It's just dumping and not actually changing any of the, the depth that we're looking for. This can be somewhat maddening, Happy Watcher. So let's, uh, let's see if we can go a little shallower and see if we can improve things. impact that was and now we're able to not throw our water buckets that is not approved happy minecrafter methodology now to bring it up a lot oh oh I think we're on to something dear watcher I don't know if you saw that, but you can see if we fill the water or the bucket, the square right below, it bumps out the water. So we need to find it and expand it much the same way we filled out the initial. And this is moving it further and further out. This is exactly the kind of effect that we were hoping for. If we go the next level down, let's test this theory here, Happy Watcher. Oh, we hit a jackpot there, Happy Watcher. I don't know if you saw how effective that one was. That was incredibly effective. So I think we are almost done flooding our little pond. Look at that. Look at that. I think we hit the jackpot, I believe. We are so close to a completely clean stream. All right, happy watcher. Here we are. It should be our final day of production here on our fishing pond. We're going to find the last of our running water like that out there and that one over here. And I think uh, maybe just one. Yes, one little addition there to make that waterfall look just a little bit nicer. All right, now back to brass tacks. As you can 
see we've now managed to flood out this little valley but not too much we dug down a little bit we've got this beautiful waterfall behind me and um, in a, the next episode we will learn how to build a sustainable deck that you can use to hop out onto your little pond here and fish to your heart's content in the most sustainable way possible so alrighty then now that you know how to flood out a valley in the most minecraftingly sustainable way possible it is time for you to go forth and do some happy minecrafting our very special thanks to Mojang open broadcast software and Windows Live Movie Maker, all for providing the software necessary to bring you this program. This episode has been brought to you by The Happy Minecrafter and Watchers Like You. Please like and or subscribe to show your support to your probably not local channel.